Is the fear of failure holding you back in life? If it is, then stay tuned. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking to you about the fear of failure. Now, if you are afraid to fail, quite simply, you are holding yourself back from success. Failure is a classroom. You know, it's, a, it's there to teach you something. Failure is there to teach you a lesson so that you can move on to the next phase in life. Now, if you don't heed to the lessons that failure teaches you, then you'll never progress. You always stay in the same place in the, and in the same situation. A lot of people might look at, you know, successful individuals um, in their field and they might look up to them with esteem and think, you know, I really want to be like that famous person. I really want to have the success, the money, the fame and, you know, the authority that that person has. But sometimes we see the fame and we see the fortune, but we don't see the failure. There's a certain amount of failure that, you know, I would say 99% of most uh, successful people have to go through before they experience success. Some people call that experience, you know, there's a, and there's an experience, there's a, a birthing process. It's like when a, a mother is giving birth to a baby, there's a, there's, a, there's a process that has to take place before the baby is born. And it's the same with success. Successful people have to go through a process before they're able to attain the amount of wealth, you know, the amount of clout and, you know, just to, to get the measure of success that they actually have. So if you're someone who is fearing failure, then really you're shooting yourself in the foot because failure is a necessary part um, of, the, of the learning journey. And I have a nephew. Uh, my nephew is about two years old now. And I, I had the privilege of watching him grow up. And he taught me a lot of lessons while he was growing up. Because obviously when he was first born, he couldn't walk. And as you know, during the process of him trying to walk, he fell over so many times. He fell over, he bumped his head, sometimes he would cry, you know, but he never ever gave up trying to walk. Now he can run around, you know, but he would never be able to run around if he never had the experience of falling and hurting himself and failing. But the beautiful thing about, about this, this young child was that every single time he fell, he got back up again. And every single one of us has the ability to fail and get back up again and try again and keep going, even though we've bumped our heads in life, even though we feel pain, even though we feel hurt, even though we feel depressed, even though we feel stressed, we have the option to get back up again. But I, I feel that you know, somewhere in life as we grow up, we, lo we lose the ability that we once had as babies to just get back up again and to keep trying. And you know, somewhere in life, we become fearful of failure. We, we don't want people to laugh at us because we've fallen. We don't want people to laugh at us because we wanted to start a business and the business and the shop closed down. We don't want to look silly because we wanted to be actors and we never made it. We don't want to look silly uh, because, you know, we have a degree in a certain field and we never actually achieved it. But really and truly, if you're not prepared to look silly for whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in life, then you'll probably never get there. The really successful people stick their necks out. The really successful people take the risks. The really successful people, they don't care how stupid you think they look. They don't care how stupid or how, how, how ridiculed they are or how many people, you know, uh, speak bad about them or how many people say, you look silly, you know. They don't really care how they look. They're pursuing their dreams. They're pursuing at all costs, even if they look silly, even if they fail. And if you really want to get past your fear of failure, then you're going to have to be prepared to look silly for your dreams and for your visions. Now, hopefully this video motivated some of you. If it did, then please click the like button down below. If you have anything you want to add to this, then please leave it in the comments section. Um, it will be great to hear from you. But, you know, check out some of my other videos. Hopefully you'll like them as well. And also subscribe for similar content. But until next time, have a great day. Stay motivated. And I'll see you soon.